Hey friends, welcome to Live in a Country. Today I am so excited to be sharing Sam from the 617 Farmhouse on Instagram. She is back sharing her beautiful little apartment that is decorated so farmhouse for the Christmas 2020 season. You guys are going to love her home so much. I'm going to also link her last tour in the description box below. Make sure you check that out. Without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Sam from the 617 Farmhouse over on Instagram. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of our apartment today. We live in Boston and um, we live in a very small apartment. So when you first walk in to the front door of the hallway, you'll see here that I have a baker's rack. It used to be a little bench where we could put our shoes on and off, but I call this my unicorn piece because it's something I've been looking for for so long and it's the only spot that I could fit it in our apartment. As you can see on the bottom, we have the linens, and then I love um, putting as much ironstone and white um, dishware on here as possible. And then I like to change it out with different um, florals and greenery for each season. So um, I have this faux cedar stems in here in this bucket, and then just the mini little Christmas trees. Um, and a lot of these products are from small businesses, which I love to support. Um, the Mercury Glass Stars are from the store called Beyond the Barn Boston. And this bucket is from Purple Rose Home. And then the sign I made at my own um, like do-it-yourself sign night. And I made that at Air Workshop in Manchester, New Hampshire. But I love this piece. It allows me to be creative and um, show my style. So I really love this. When you turn, I'm gonna show you, you'll come into the bathroom. So I made this DIY pegboard um, holder to hold some of our towels. And then if you turn, here is our shower. I call our bathroom tiny but mighty. Um, it is really small. Or actually our entire apartment's really small, but um, it works for us and I just love the finishes. So I made these DIY shower bottles. I bought the bottles off of Amazon and I just had another local business called, small business called A Little More Co. She's on Etsy. Um, she made the stickers for me, but I love it because you have clear glass and with the clear glass, I just hated having the bottles inside and so they were super unsightly. Um, and so I just created my, my own. And then here's just the back of our toilet. Um, it's not glamorous, but it works. Those towels, there and there, those are just for decoration. We don't actually use those. Um, we use the towels on the pegboard that I showed you and then the towels we use to shower are on the back of our bathroom door. And then here is our sink. So I wanted to add a little bit of Christmas into the bathroom. So what I did was I included a faux greenery um, garland around the mirror. And then I just did this little sign in the back. Um, did another faux stem of the cedar in that back corner over there, the cute little snowflake sign and then candle. I always love having candles going. Um, and then this right here is an ar architectural piece. And then I just used a little faux candle ring, um, or I guess it's more an, of a napkin ring from the hearth and hand line at Magnolia. Um, I use that underneath just to add some greenery there and some texture as well. And then I'm going to take you guys out of the bathroom and show you the rest of the apartment. So then you turn into our kitchen. Like I said, our entire apartment is small, um, but mighty. I just love the touches that they included here. This is my little baking corner. Um, I don't really use this too much. This is more just the um, KitchenAid over here and then some ironstone. We have this little lamp um, if I need some extra light over here, but this is more just for display. Um, when we do need to use the counters, I'll move some stuff, but we do have enough counter space. It's just the two of us. So um, we'll use the counter spaces next to the sink. And then I wanted some real greenery in the apartment for the smell. Unfortunately, we can't have a real tree, but um, I did opt for some real greenery. So I put this up around our sink. And then as you can see here, this is a DIY riser. Um, that I did, it was so easy. Just have our counter cleaner and hand soap on there. Um, and then on this little corner over here, this is one of my favorite little spots to change up in the apartment. This is 
um, a great spot for vignettes and I am constantly changing it. So right now I have some taper candles, um, some breadboards, a little mini faux Christmas tree and my favorite candle um, smells so good. It's cardamom and vetiver by the Hearth and Hand line going. So this is what our kitchen looks like. And again, um, if we need space on the counters, I'll just move this stuff right here and we'll have plenty of room. It's just two of us, so we don't need a lot of room, but I do like to have some stuff out um, for Christmas and for the season, just for different holidays to make it feel like home. Next up, we have the living room. So it's attached to the kitchen, um, but here you can see I attached three wreaths to our photos or the frames on the back of the side of the couch. And um, I know it looks like a lot of pillows, but we'll just move them when we sit. They're really comfy. Most of them are from Target or Pottery Barn. Um, and this year I decided to stick with the winter forest theme. So I've usually had reds in the past. This year I just wanted to stick with green and then add a little touch of sparkle with the ornaments. But here is what our coffee table looks like. Um, this coffee table is actually a family heirloom, but um, speaking of coffee tables, this is another spot that I really love to constantly change up so as you can see here um, this is just a round basket and then the greenery inside is a faux um, wreath which fit perfectly and then some pillar candles and then some taper candles so I think that's like a really easy um, and great way to have some coffee table decor for the holidays again I just wanted to stick with the greens this year but um, I don't know I like the winter forest theme I'm going to back out so you guys can see the full picture here. Okay, and then our Christmas tree um, is actually faux and it's kind of funny. There's a little story behind it. Um, I did have a beautiful Christmas tree that was flocked that I absolutely loved. Um, that I had gotten two years ago after Christmas for um, on clearance, but unfortunately I just did not love the flocking this year. I wanted to go more simple and I'm really glad I switched last minute. Um, this tree is perfect. I have it linked in my bio as all items in my apartment are linked in my bio um, on my Instagram page at the 617 farmhouse, but this tree is awesome. This tree is so awesome because it has um, the real fill tips. So as you can see here, it's like a plastic and it doesn't um, doesn't shed when you put it up either, which is really great. And I call myself, I'm part of the 95% club. I put everything up and um, make it look nice. And then you see this in the back of the tree, the tag just never came off, but we will definitely be keeping it. Um, I love it so much. We decorated it this year with a lot of um, plain mercury glass ornaments and white ornaments. These big farmhouse chunky beads are from Beyond the Barn Boston and the white beads are um, from Target last year. And then our tree skirt is from Pottery Barn. I have seen a lot of people use blankets um, that look similar, knit blankets that um, they use as tree skirts to just wrap it around. And then this year for presents, I went really simple with the plain um, paper and then I actually drew some designs on them myself. Um, you can see that over on my Instagram as well. Some of them have the designs, some have ribbon, but I just like keeping it really simple. Okay, and then so that's our laundry closet right there. I've got another little pegboard right here with some tea towels. Um, we have our little brown leather chair over here that I just love. And then up behind the TV, we have some of those matching um, little wreaths that are behind the couch. Just wanted to keep this simple this year. Um, we have some greenery on the TV stand. I DIY'd this old stand and painted it gray in chalk paint. And then we have our stockings over here and I know there's only two of us but I love the look of um, the four together it just makes it look fuller and then I got these bells from Scout Vintage on Cape Cod that's another small store we also have really deep windows I'm not sure if any of you guys noticed but 
Um, our window ledges are super deep, so I like to decorate those too. You can see it in this one over here as well. I'm gonna take you guys into the last room, which is our bedroom. It's again, very tiny, but here we are. So here's what our bed looks like. Um, we had to opt for an Ikea bed with storage underneath. We will be switching that out when we move to the next place. But um, here is a close up of the linens. I wanted to keep it simple in here as well. Um, I love this wreath, it's from AH Floral. They are also a small business. You can find them on Instagram. These side pieces are actually from the Brimfield Flea Market. And then this is a light I DIY'd myself recently. I shared a reel over on my stories and then I also have a blog on how to do it yourself. Um, the basket is from Ikea and I used a puck light in there to make it work. And if you see that remote right there, that's how you turn it on and off. But our bedside table is super simple. There used to be a lamp on there, but I just needed some more space. So that's why I came up with the pendant light. Um, over here, we've got a floor length mirror with some faux greenery from Home Goods. It's that real feel, which I love. And I just draped it up and around. Um, I wanted to keep it really simple. And then there's our closet that we share, the two of us. Um, we do have a laundry basket, but we don't use it very often. Most of the time we just um, we have a little basket in the bathroom that we'll put some of our clothes in after we uh, go out we'll put them in there but that's pretty much it wanted to keep it simple like I said this year um, here is what I did on our bed just a little riser with a candle from antique candle co it smells so good um, I just wanted to keep it cozy too so I went with that winter forest theme stuck with the greens and the neutrals and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tour um, oh one last thing this sign is also a small business sign um, it sticks with that neutral theme. So, like I said, I wanted to keep it simple and cozy this year. That was my goal. Um, you can find everything over at the 617 Farmhouse on Instagram. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour.